What we have so far is just the declaration of the class. We haven't implemented anything. Each of these are just method declarations. We haven't implemented them. So let's go in the dice.cpp and implement them. Now, for sure, we're gonna to have to pound include that header file, right? We'll need to know that we can find dice.h because we'll need that declaration. And now we want to do the implementations. Well, you don't implement an entire class. What you do is you implement individual methods. So if we want to implement the constructor, let's do the default constructor first. What we're going to do is we're going to actually do the function implementation here. So that would look like that. So it's the name of the function, parentheses, and then the opening and curly braces. Now, there's one other thing. So this just says there's just this function called dice, and it's not associated with anything. If we want this to be the dice method that's actually associated with the class, we have to say that. So we have to use the scope resolution operator. It's kind of the same operator we used with uh, namespaces. But uh, so we just say dice, that's the class name, colon, colon. And now notice that it came up and says, oh, I know something about the dice class. I know that it has all of these methods. And the way it knows it is because we have declared those methods, but we haven't implemented them. So now this is the way we do it. We put the class colon colon, and then we put the name of the method. And so here is our constructor, our default constructor, because it doesn't have any parameters. And it's a constructor has no return type. So what do we want to have happen when we create a new object of type dice, right? We have a new variable, it's of type dice. What do we want to have happen? Well, what we want to do is make sure that our dice is in order, that it's a real life dice, which means it needs to have a value for number of sides and for value. Which, how many sides does it have and which side is facing up? And that's important whenever we create a variable of type dice that it has those two values. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set those two values in here. Well, this is a default constructor. So we're going to use another cool tool, and that's an initialization list. So we just put a space, colon, space, and here we can initialize values. And that just simply means we can use any of our class data members, and we can give them a value. And so we're going to do that with um, number of sides. And we're going to say the default number of sides is six. And then we can put a comma for the other one. And the other one is value. We can say, mm, what's our default value? Well, two. Let's just say the default value is two. And then there's nothing else that we have to do inside here. We just simply need to initialize those values. And we can do that with an initializer list. And you can initialize as many of the um, member value, data members as you want, or none of them if you don't want to. But in our default constructor, we just want to set both of those to default values. Since nothing's happening in the body, we, we, the opening and curly braces are still required, but we can shorten them up so that there's no space between them. And this is the entire method, right? All it does is it initializes number of sides to six and value to two. And now that we have this default constructor, we can go ahead and create a new variable of this type. So we go into main, before we can use it, we need to pound include the header file. And we'll do dice.h. And now to do, if we want a new variable of type dice, we put the type, which is dice, and then the name. And I'm just gonna call it my first dice. And there I have an object of type dice. And now I can do functionality, my first dice dot, notice that row comes up, which we haven't implemented, by the way, so we better not call it. 
Notice that the constructors and the destructor do not come up as an option. So the constructor and the destructor are called automatically. So we don't manually call them at all. So we don't have to do this. When we create a variable of type dice, it automatically calls the constructor. And in this case, since we haven't specified any value, it will call the default constructor. So it's calling this default constructor. Now let's go ahead and run this. And cross our fingers, we've done quite a bit of coding, so hopefully we don't have any syntax errors. Oh, no such luck. Let's see what we've got. Ah, undefined reference to dice, the destructor. Okay, now we're in trouble. <laughs> 